Hello, thanks for tuning in to episode 3 of the Problems with Arcage. And in this one I'm going to be talking about updates, patches and events. For a start we'll hit the patches and updates. And I'll start with my biggest problem with them. Which is, they don't give content for everybody. At least, not enough. Recently it's been getting worse where the large portion of a, a big update has been changing content which really doesn't add anything it just makes people sort of adjust what they do every day slightly and then carry on and then they add something big for of course the top one percent take the uh recent update eranor eternal you know just ask yourself how many people have got eranor weapons how many people have got eternal gear you know pretty much nobody it's just that top one percent bracket that seems to get all of the benefit, all of the gold, all of the, uh, you know, um, all of the content really aimed towards them to keep them playing. And it's a pretty sad state of affair. Because it wasn't always like this. Back in the day, a lot of the content was aimed at everybody and it released serious new content. Like, for instance, the guild system where everybody got to work together for month after month after month to level up their guild, and it added a lot of new daily stuff. Then you had, of course, the um, leadership system, which promoted people uh, that were willing to lead raids, and they got their leadership. It gave guilds something that they could spend time, um, you know, helping their leaders or officers or whoever they wanted to, you know, make a leader that month. It gave them something to work towards, and it felt good. It made events more populated with people trying to get their leadership. It made events have better leaders and more stable leaders, and it was pretty cool. And there was Mist Song and Serpentis, you know, brand new dungeons, and Mist Song. I wish they did more dungeons like Mist Song. Such a good update. Really released a lot of nice. Um, content in the form of a dungeon which gave lots of people something to do and if they did things like this a lot more it would really give a lot more content for the vast majority of players to engage in but a lot of the content that they focus on releasing just doesn't feel like it's actually aimed at many people I mean take the Thunderwing Titan it was hyped on live streams, it was emailed out to people, New World Boss, Thunderwing Titan, New Area, Reedwind. You know, it was all over Steam, all over the forums, and what happened? You know, that was it. Day one, a few people went and checked out Reedwind for about an hour. There was nothing there. One daily quest, and that's it. No reason to go back there. So people didn't go back there. Then, you know, Eren or Eternal. After a week, everybody had learned the new trade routes that they were going to do. Everybody had uh, figured out the new regrade rates. And that was it. You know? People that were lower down, or the average player, didn't really have the gold to sort of spam off a ton of regrades anyway. So they didn't really get to participate. And for the most part, the daily grind and the daily activities didn't change. There was obviously Whale Song and Aegis. That were introduced but they were just glorified coin purse and crate farming areas with the added benefit of going for eranor gear but once again how many people really have gone for eranor gear not including the cloak and even then not many people get the cloak it's not something that uh, more than five percent or so of players i would have thought have got so a lot of this content is aimed at just a few select players and even if we go forward to 3.7 and 4.0, it's a similar story there. The content that's going to be coming is arena balancing, changes to the gemming system, and all of these additions to the game, they don't really add content that is going to give people something to do long term. It's very short, very quick, after a week... That's it. You don't really talk about the update anymore. Or it doesn't give you new daily stuff to do. If we swap out from Arcage and go to a lot of other games, um, that's a different story. When a patch comes, 
it brings out tons of new content that gives people new stuff to do every day for a very long period of time. And as I stated, it used to be like that in Arcage, but lately the updates have been focusing more on changing existing content rather than adding new content. And it's one of the problems with Arcage that is leaving people feeling bored, you know, feeling like, what do I do now? You know, do, do I just go on to the daily routine of GR, CR, you know, Miss Mero, Halsey, and then Aegis, Whale Song? I mean, what what is new and fresh to really give people something that will wake them up to do? Moving off from the topic of updates, events. They're touted as this monthly event that gives people something new to do. Well, that's great. If they actually gave people a reason to do them. Because one of the biggest problems with events right now in Arc Age is the events, they're, they're pretty crap. You know, I mean, the event itself might be fun, but if at the end of people engaging in this event, they feel like they've wasted their time or they feel like it wasn't worth the effort, they're not going to do it again. Take the current event for the Corgi. How many times have you done, for instance, the 30 cheese rind quest? And you'll go and spend an hour grinding and you'll get your 30 cheese rind. And I know that higher geared and higher experienced players can get 30 cheese rind in 10-15 minutes. But normal players and lower geared players, it will take them longer. You know, 30 minutes to an hour probably is the average. And if after 30 minutes to an hour, you go and hand in the little cheese and, you know, Kirby gets his favourite cheese and you get this little RNG Pokeball, and you get rewarded with basically a slap. Like you open the Pokeball and a big hand comes out, slaps you across the face, and then says, there you go, you get one bound here after stone. Or you open the RNG Pokeball and a middle finger pops up, waving at you like, ha ha, here's some bound Synthium shards. Like, how does that make the player base feel? When an event comes out, you should make people feel like they want to participate in the event. Give people a reason to log in every day and go and take a look at what event's running because it's always a good reward. Oh my god, you know, I love the Arcade events. They're always fun, they're always engaging. You know, I've, I've got to go and check this out. And that's how you should make players feel. That when they've successfully completed the event, that the time they spent doing the event was worth it. You can't have players basically sitting there for the most part feeling depressed. If, if you leave players feeling depressed and in a, in a sense that they've just wasted an hour every time they try and do one of your events, that's it. They're not going to bother anymore with your events. And if we take a look at some of the more recent ones, You've got the Blue Salt Festival. What rewards did you offer at the Blue Salt Festival? It was diving helmet, swim fins, and temporary car and longboard. Plus a load of rubbish that nobody really cares about. And most of it was the same stuff we had last year and the year before. You're not giving people a reason to come back to these events and participate. You're not giving people incentive to participate in these events and because of that, they won't. And the people that do are mostly left feeling like they've wasted their time. They feel depressed. They feel like they didn't get a reward for their time. But rather they got punished for thinking about actually participating. And that isn't what you want. Take some of the good events. Like the early River Run Rapids. The early River Run Rapids were brilliant. Really, really good. The early River Run Rapids gave the flying donkey. At the time, people didn't really have a decent donkey. Some people had Carrot Dash. Some people might have had... Um, I can't even think if any of the other um, faster stuff was out back then. But for the most part, people had a bog standard donkey. And that was it, you know. So when this flying Derpy Dash was announced, everybody wanted it. They participated every day in this brand new fun event and 
at the end of it, they got rewarded. They got the item that they wanted, and for excess coins, they could go and buy stacks and stacks and stacks of buffs. And on top of getting these buffs, they could also get um, labor potions in the form of um, the hangover cure. Fast forward two years, and what have we got now? The hangover cures now can't be used unless you've got a hangover, which wasn't the case before. So people that had got stacks of these now can't use them. Now they feel depressed and they've wasted their time. You've removed the donkey and replaced it with a dolphin, which everybody got for free when you messed up one of the RNG boxes. And we've got so many water mounts, nobody's going to use the dolphin or want it because it's slower than swimming anyway. At the end of it, you need to make the rewards feel rewarding. Don't be afraid to give people good buffs and good rewards because at the end of the day, if you keep bringing this out year after year, it doesn't create an advantage. It just creates a temporary advantage. New players, by the time they've gotten to the point that they're participating in this event, they probably won't have really done much. It's likely, you know, they th the event will roll around and then they'll be able to participate and get this reward. And you should include new, nice rewards for players that did it last year. Maybe even include an upgrade for the last year's item so that players that are doing it for the first year can only go for the first year reward and players that are returning from last year can upgrade last year's reward and you could easily do this by simply making the amount of tokens required too much to do in one year so that you need to participate in last year's to get last year's reward and may maybe you allow people to upgrade the derpy dash the flying carrot dash into a flying soul mule how, how awesome would that be a flying soul mule as an upgrade for the flying carrot dash on the second year. It's ideas like this that would really bring life to the game, give people a reason to participate in events more than one year in a row, and feel like their time was worth something. And RNG rewards, while they're good, don't make that the main reward. Because right now in the third anniversary, you're getting all of these anniversary coins, and the majority of players are getting nothing but rubbish, and it really makes them feel like they just can't be bothered to do it. Because I certainly don't, because I know I'm just going to get more bound synthium, and I don't need that. I don't need bound abyssal shards. I don't need abyssal crystals, especially with the changes that are coming in 4.0. Everything to do with abyssal crystals is going to be easy to get. There'll, there'll be no more challenges with any of that stuff. So, with events... Make them rewarding and fun for everybody. Make it worth doing. Make new rewards every year so people that are coming back for the second or third or fourth year of these events have a reason to return. And when it comes to updates, they need to be something for everyone. Don't just bring out Eranor Eternal and go, ha ha, there you go, a brand new grade of gear and a brand new rank of gear when 99% of your player base haven't even got the current stuff. Like, my god, you know, releasing Eternal before anyone's got full Mythic is just silly, you know. And releasing Eranor gear before many people have got Aenad is also silly. I do like a lot of the changes and I think that most of them are very welcome. The changes to this crafting system, the changes to the regrade system, gemming system, honor system, all of these are really good changes, but they need to be complemented with content that brings members, old and new, to the game more each day. Not just one hour to get the daily grind done and then log off for the rest of the day. Really, give content for everybody to come into the game spend a month really diving into all this new content and enjoying it and then after the month there's still content there that gives people that extra half an hour each day of new content to do that they didn't have before the update and if this happens i guarantee you some of the um, areas in the game will be brought back some of the zones in the game will liven up and the game will become more populated
because all the time that every time a new zone is released it's basically a glorified housing zone farming zone or you know world boss zone nobody's going to go there after the first day or two they'll check it out they'll go yeah and that's it you know there's there's no point releasing more zones if there's no reason to go to those new zones when you release diamond shores there was a reason to go there we had loads of stuff in diamond shores that really brought us to the zone and gave us a reason to go there when auroria was released it was four dead areas with nothing to do when anima and um Rakala were released just big glorified housing zones you know, it's the same with the starting zones for the new races. There was nothing there to really keep people going back. I think Arcage needs to have a few big changes done for the events and updates to make them fun and engaging on an ongoing basis. And I do hope that these changes can happen. That's all I've really got to say on updates and um, patches. And I hope some of what I said will happen in the future. Because we can't just keep releasing bosses and gear for the top 1% and expect the other 99% to hang around for more than a couple more months. People are leaving, give them a reason to stay. I'll be staying for now, and I'll see you in the next video.